Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and on this video I'm going to show you why you need to pay special attention to accounts payable and accounts receivable when you are uploading a historical trial balance. Stay tuned. When we are working with historical trial balances uploads, we not only need to be sure that we are uploading the correct balances per account, but we also need to be sure that we are not incorrectly affecting the aging reports. In other words, we don't want to see what we have here in my screen, a no, no customer slash project customer in the AR aging summary report. This happens when you create a journal entry in NetSuite for accounts receivable or accounts payable, and you don't attach a corresponding customer or vendor to that transaction. There are a couple of ways that you can avoid this. In this case, I will be using suspense account. When you download a trial balance from the source accounting software, in this case, QuickBooks, you will be downloading the total correct balance for AR and AP. But in NetSuite, I will not be upload, uploading the trial balance to the real accounts receivable and accounts payable balances accounts in NetSuite. I will be using suspense accounts that are other current assets and other current liability liabilities type accounts. So in this case, my AR QBO account is a other current asset account and my AP QBO account is a other current liabilities type account. That way I don't have to worry about affecting the aging report. Now, before we dive in into what will happen to the suspense accounts, let's first discuss what happens when you create an invoice or a bill in NetSuite. At least these three things will happen. The accounts receivable account will be affected. In this case, a $5 invoice will increase my accounts receivable by $5. The corresponding customer will be tied to the transaction. So in my aging report will be accurate. And third, the revenue account tied to the item will be affected. Now, what will be different when we use suspense accounts? Well, instead of using the revenue, a revenue account tied to an item, we'll be using the suspense account. That will be the only difference. So to recap, we will be uploading the tribe balance. And instead of using the real accounts receivable and accounts payable accounts in NetSuite, we will be using suspense accounts. In, order, in this case, I'm showing the accounts receivable QBO account that is other current asset type is not the real accounts receivable account in NetSuite, okay? And when, when I upload the, op, the, the, the invoices, right, in this case, I will be using, instead of using the revenue account, I will be using the accounts receivable QBO suspense account. That way, my accounts receivable QBO account at the end will have a zero balance and my real accounts receivable account will have the correct $5 balance and the customer will be tied to that account uh, and the real customer will be tied to that transaction. So in NetSuite, you will be able to apply payments to the corresponding customer, okay? One thing you will need to do to use this approach is create suspense items or temporary items that will be used, that will be used only for the data migration process, okay? In this case, I called one item AR QBO item. That item is tied to the accounts receivable QBO to Spence account. And I created another item called AP QBO item, and that is tied to the accounts payable suspense account that I created. So in addition to allowing you to not affect incorrectly your aging report, those suspense accounts will also serve to let you know if you uploaded incorrect balances because in this case, if for some reason I uploaded with my trial balance $5, but with the open invoices, I uploaded only four. 
at the end, I will have in my balance sheet a suspense account with that $1 balance. So in addition to you, so it will let you know if something went wrong with that data migration. Okay. In my next video, I'm going to show you how my balance sheet looks like after I upload the trial balance and how it looks like after I upload the open invoices. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you want to find more accounting software tips, visit our website at www.fusiontaxes.com.